What is going on everyone? TSZ Tech coming at you today with another video and I got a different one for you here today. So normally uh, we talk about PC gaming and uh, all that good stuff and GPUs, you know, gaming, blah, 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 blah. Well today this definitely falls under the tech sphere, but this is a little bit more somber of a topic, but it's something that I, I want to cover because I think it's important and I think we need to be having a discussion about this. So doing my normal thing, you know, looking what was new in the tech world, I came across this article and it brought me to the actual New York Times article. And this is a quite long and really good article, honestly. I highly recommend um, looking into it. But there, there's some disclaimers I got to give here before we really dive into the, the uh, talking about this, and that is, you know, uh, one, you know, we're, we're going to be talking about the Capitol here, and I don't really like getting into politics too much, especially online, because it's so toxic, but I, I just, I, I am not supporting any, any, this is not saying we need to protect the people at the Capitol or any, any stupid thing like that. Um, I, I think the New York Times summed this well up here where the sacking of the Capitol was a shocking assault on the Republican unwelcome reminder of the fragility of American democracy. I absolutely agree with that. Um, you know, and we can recognize that the way that data is being used and this, this data dump that we got that, of these information of people at the Capitol is an example for the entire nation. It, and it doesn't apply specifically only to the scenarios. It's not only affecting um, the people that participated, you know, at the Capitol. This, this affects everyday Americans. Um, absolutely 100%. This is happening to everyone. The apps on your phone are, are using that location data and they are selling it as part of your personal information to lots of different companies and means. And then there's, of course, also the government who, if they ever want to look into this, you know, they they have this available to them. And the laws and regulations around this kind of stuff is really um, is really hazy. And this also kind of ties into some other stuff that I've seen um, in the last couple of years that have started to get mainstream attention. There, there's there been some cases I've seen in the local newspaper here um, that have talked about geotracking, which is essentially what this is talking about, and uh, more specifically how that's been used in law enforcement. There was um, a case here, uh, or maybe it wasn't here, maybe I just read about it in the local paper, but anyways, there was a case of a guy who's accused of murder um, based on of his, his phone's location data, and it was actually his stepdad who ended up committing the crime and had his phone at the time, and I guess had done it to try to throw the authorities off. And then there was another instance where a bank was robbed, and they they it, they issued a blanket warrant, not for a specific person they suspected, but for everybody in the area at the time to look at their uh, phone's location data and find um, you know, whoever did it that way. And so this brought up a lot of, you know, uh, you know, is this ethical? You know, is this okay? You know, all these kinds of arguments, you know, are being brought up. And this is certainly not an old topic to, to the tech of savvy of you out there. You will recognize that this has been going on stuff like this to a far greater extent than this article even is going to cover it happens every day. There are online profiles being made of everybody. They're being sold to advertisers. It's big money. And then there's, of course, the government and, you know, how much, how much do they have access and blah, 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 blah. The debate goes on and on and on. And the amount, the amount of information out there is truly overwhelming. But with all of that kind of said, let's dive into this specifically. Um, so in 2019, it gives some background, um, basically talking about uh, they got a big data trove and uh, of info that helped them track celebrities, Pentagon officials, and average Americans. And this was data was collected by smartphone apps and fed into a dizzyingly complex digital advertising ecosystem and was a liability to national security, free assembly, and to citizens. Absolutely. Um and so they're saying that another data set has been provided of the rioters and what they were able to basically, they were able to reconstruct the people's 
addresses, their home phone numbers, whether their family members had also attended the riot, all of this stuff. Um, they were able to get so much data um, uh, from, from this. And it, it's truly astounding. But like I said, to those of you tech savvy, at the same time, you're going to be like, duh. Um, you're not really going to be surprised. The, the, the important part about this, though, is this is getting mainstream attention. And we need this to break through and enough people to care before change will actually happen. And unfortunately, many Air Americans have been apathetic about this for a very long time. And nothing has really come of We've had leaks and, and data dumps and all kinds of things, headlines. No one seems to care. No one seems to care ever. It's it's crazy. Um. So yeah. Um. They, and they basically go into this, and I really in depth. Um. They they kind of talk about you know what does this mean for law enforcement? Um. You know blah 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 blah. And and they just show how much they were able to get, how much um info, and show that it, this this is. A widespread thing. This is not just about these these dumb people who did dumb stuff at the Capitol. This is, you know, this is about everybody. And is are we okay with this? Um, you know. And so I, I'm not going to substitute, you know, the this article in general. Um, I, I don't want to go through it bit by bit. It's also very long. But I I want to bring out this right here. In our previous investigation, we wrote that Americans deserve the freedom to choose a life without surveillance and the government regulation that would make that possible. We continue to believe the sentiment. We fear it may be soon obsolete or irrelevant. We deserve that freedom, but the window to achieve it narrows a little more each day. If we don't act now with great urgency, it very well may close for good. And this is, this is a powerful conclusion, and it needs to be, because they're absolutely right. I mean, if we go back to, say, Snowden and all of that stuff and PRISM and, and all, all of that stuff that, that was really mostly just talking about the government and then all the different stuff we've gotten since about, you know, corporations and advertising. Lately, Facebook's come in the media a lot and, you know, uh, and talked about it. But there's never been any real change. And I think the reason is, is this is big money. This is very big money. Um... You know, all that advertising revenue is just so insanely profitable for advertisers, for companies that use that data. It's it's very, very valuable. And in our country, you know, uh, things are the way that they are. And people with lots of money, those companies and stuff like that, they are going to lobby for regulations that they like that help them make money. And our legislators are going to listen to the people who give them most money. It's messed up system, but it's, it is what it is. And that, that's kind of the world we live in. And the other side of that is that the government likes being able to have access to this, this data whenever they're doing an investigation, this and that, they can be like, Hey, yo, give me that, all that info. And the company's just like, Oh, here you go. And they can just issue like blanket warrant surveillance. Like, all right, there was a crime committed in this area. We need everybody's phone location data. We need everybody that was in the area, you know, and they can do stuff like this. They liked having that option available to them duh and companies like making money and money influenced legislators so all of these things lead to no change unless we the american people and really this is an issue for the world this is a massive thing affecting everybody if enough people come together and say no this is not okay we want this to stop it'll stop i mean literally if if enough people really want this done maybe I, maybe Maybe that's naive, but I really think if enough people really cared about this, something would get done. Whenever something really creates a PR sting for any legislator, any politician, anything, blah, 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 they want to look like the good guy and they'll support some legislation and they'll throw us a bone. And yes, we'll probably never get the extent that we really want it, but we'll get something. We'll start moving in the right direction. And right now we're getting really nothing. We're just getting screwed over and over and over and everyone's apathetic. And to the people who do know... You know, it, it's like, what can you, you do if no one else cares? And the, then there's the people who they're apathetic and they kind of care, but they don't understand the extent and they don't understand the long-term ramifications of just letting this go. And so it, it, it's up to us, the people who do understand the tech savvy to explain like, hey, 
this is happening. This is happening to a massive amount. And if you don't believe this is okay, you need to stand up and say, I don't believe this is okay. Um, and explain those, those long-term implications that this isn't just about, you know, advertising and whether or not they can, they give you an ad that that's relevant to you. This is about your privacy and going forward in the future, what that will mean on a corporate level for all of these companies and how much information and how in depth their profiles of you actually are. I mean, it is astonishing. They can recreate you pretty much. Um, and then the government as well, how much, you know, if, if the companies are all doing this, how much of that, you know, what, what are the long-term implications here? You know, you know, if, civil discourse, civil disobedience, if there's something that the government's doing wrong and the people want to protest it, you know, there, all of these things start really mattering and it, we could get to a point where it's too late. It's all done. They have all the control and there's nothing we can really do about it. And and that's what this is kind of saying. Like, we are at a critical junction here in history. Then the next decade, pretty much, we're going to decide where this goes. Are we just going to go down the route where we just sell our privacy completely and have absolutely none? Or are we going to say there is a line and we don't want it to be crossed? So, yeah. Chew on that. <laughs> So yeah, much different kind of video, but I, I hope you enjoyed, you know, this is, this is an issue that needs to be discussed. You know, this is a huge rabbit hole you could go down. You know, I, I highly encourage you to really look into all of this stuff because there is so much information out there that, that has come public and become available to us average, you know, people, um, and it is truly astounding and everyone should at least know, I mean, we can have a debate on this and we can disagree. You might say, you know, I want all of, I don't care if, if it helps national security and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. I want all of this stuff. That's okay if that's what you believe. If you understand everything's going that's going on. But if you're coming from a misinformed point of view where you're just like, I, I don't think it's that bad. I don't really understand the whole situation. Who cares? You know, that's a much different story. Um, we need to to educate ourselves and inform, you know, the the opinions to the best of our ability with the knowledge available to us. And so we can have a discussion. We can disagree, but we have to do our best to be informed on it. So I highly encourage you to to look into this further because this is just this is the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more information out there. If you are if you are just hearing about stuff like this or you don't really know you've just kind of generally heard oh yeah i know that that's happening um really look into it and you'll be surprised what you find so with that i will leave you have a good day peace out